to make a magic loop. Have your yarn, you're going to go over, cross your yarn. So you have here the, the end is to the bottom, let me do that again. The end of your yarn is on the bottom and you over it. So your tail is to the bottom and your long end is on the top. You have to go under the loop, pick this loop up, your long tail up from the back, bring it forward, so to the outside, then pick up that loop again and pull through. And that is a magic loop that you've just made. What I usually do is you always have it a little bit turned here as I untangle this by just looking at my tail and at this point this loop that you just have this counts as, as zero so if you were to work in the in the loop and you'd say okay I need to do a chain one and then work a single crochet this is how you would work in the loop and while you're working in the, your loop also keep this nice and tight and when you're finished, you can close it by pulling on your tail. What's very important with a magic loop is that this tail you really need to work in very well because otherwise it comes undone. So when you've completed all your stitches inside your loop, you can completely close it by pulling on your tail. And you can see how that loop just disappears. So how do you make that loop again? I'll show you once more. You have the tail over so it's crossed. You'll, from, the, from the bottom you pick up the long end and pick it up again and pull through. I'll show you once more. Just untangle this for a moment. Cross. The long end is at the top. Go bottom. Pick up the long end. And again, pick up the long end. And pull through. Then you've made a magic loop that you close by pulling on your tail. And when you're working in the loop make sure to keep it nice and tight because when, when it's open because that just makes life easier for you. So that's a magic loop. Perfect when working any design in the round.